What's up, Chooms? Free stuff. Well, if you like Cyberpunk 2077, there's free stuff. Um, GOG.com has a special going on with this Phantom Liberty Goodies Collection. Um, and it's it's for anybody who just loves Cyberpunk 2077. It's got a whole bunch of concept art, wallpapers, posters, um, all sorts of stuff that you could download. I'm going to preview some of those here in this video. Um, but before we do, you know, I think that uh, if you if you've never played Cyberpunk, I'm not sponsored in any way, shape or form, but I did love the game. And I love GOG as well. Um, I've been very fascinated by this company for years with CD Projekt Red because um, of what they did before they ever got into game development. It was bringing in games from the West into their country. So all those old point-and-click classic games that, that I maybe took a little for granted because I was living in the United States and I was born and raised there. And so I had easier access to these things because they were being developed in my country um so you know things like king's quest and space quest and quest for glory and you know the old lucas arts games you know, zach mccracken and and going back into full throttle and sam and max uh, the x-wing games which were amazing um like there are a lot of good games that came about of that early point and click revolution and um cd project red was at the time just a you know some dudes bringing games into the country and selling them and then building it into a distribution network that then became a game development icon, you know, and they've gone on to do the Witcher series. So I've always loved them. Um, I've used GOG for years and um, I will do Steam occasionally, but this is my go-to place for PC games. Pretty much uh, the only time I ever use Epic or Steam is when they're giving me free stuff or if I just can't find a game that I want to play on GOG. But I'd say about 90... 95% or more of the PC games that I play um, have come from here over the years. Uh, game Pass is starting to offer quite a bit too, but I still, GOG is still my go-to place. Um, so they've got this art set. Um, all you got to do is have an account here. It's totally worth it. You'll find tons of games here. No, I'm not sponsored. It's just I like them enough to recommend them. Um, but you can get this stuff here. Uh, it is... A content pack that compiles for the first time ever the best of previously released CD Projekt Red content from Cyberpunk 2077 and the upcoming Phantom Liberty. Among the content featured in the Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty goodies collection, you'll find digital wallpapers, screenshots, key visuals, printable posters, gang graffiti, and more. Everything that will give your PC that needed cyberpunk touch before venturing into Night City and Dogtown. Um, this has new concept art and wallpaper along with GOG exclusive content and they talked here about how um, apparently there's a previous goodies package in June of 2023 um, that has been updated to include all of the new content. Which, again, this is mostly for people who just want to really sink their teeth into like concept art and stuff. Um, uh, yeah, let's go take a look at that. What does that look like? Let me get up one of these images here, and we can switch over. It's not going to be dark screen. i got to switch over to my actual display, so give me a second here, and we'll do this. Hey, guys, you get to see me in double. Um, here's, like, one of the uh, Arasaka posters, um, which you can um, get a peek at here. It's, you know, this is essentially just art you'd find in the game. Um, these posters around here and there. There's also, uh, what is it here? A couple of screenshots. This is like one of the gang screenshots. Um, this is the Alicados. So you can um, check out all these different gangs here in the game laid out, and they all have different, you know, members and everything else. It's really cool. And then we go back to that. And then I think there's one more I can show you, which is. This one right here, um, this is from Phantom Liberty. So this is a concept art piece on the Pride of Eden, which, man, this reminds me of, um, it's not specifically from that film, but 12 Monkeys, um, not the TV series, although if you haven't seen the TV series, you really need to go watch it. Um, that's a, that's a, you know, I, I see all these people who have talked about, um, let's get back over to the, uh, the screen here. Ah. All these people who watched season three of Picard and were like, um, 
it's so much better than the first two seasons. Like, well, and and then everyone starts going, 12 Monkeys, that's because Terry, what is his name, Terry Matthews or whatever, um, the director also directed and show ran the 12 Monkeys show. It's really good. Um, I'm getting sidetracked, guys. Anyway, that pride shot reminds me of the 12 Monkeys uh, film. This isn't huge Cyberpunk 2077 news as it's not related to the game, but it is there for those of you who love artwork and you like to dive into concept art like I do. We've talked about this before. I just reviewed the um, the Starfield Premium Edition art book the other day. Um, we do this for most games. I just I like concept art because I can't draw, so it's fascinating to me also from my game dev background of taking things from napkin sketches to conception to actual production into publication and also doing a tabletop book and book covers and all the things I've done over the years I like artwork and so I'm always happy to consume this kind of stuff so take a look if you like my stuff like subscribe hit the bell icon join the discord links are down below daily streams at 11am I'll see you in the next one everybody peace